Hi everybody, it's Teresa with Three Stixon back on my streak of ornaments for my cozy Christmas tree. Now obviously you can't bundle up for Christmas without fabulous sweaters. And as a knitter, of course I have a very deep appreciation for cable knit sweaters. I know exactly what goes into the craftsmanship of that and I love those beautiful three-dimensional patterns you get in a cable knit sweater. But because I appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into it, I also know it takes a lot of time that I really don't have this time of year. So I've come up with a couple of different ornaments that take advantage of all of those beautiful sweaters you can find available at your thrift stores. For today, I'm really going to show off those cable patterns with these sweater balls. These are just styrofoam balls covered with sweaters to gain all of that lovely pattern and the, appreciate the cables and all you have to do is a simple little bit of hand stitching. You won't believe how simple this is. So first thing I did obviously is go to my thrift store and buy a bunch of sweaters. You really do not need much for this. One sweater will probably get you about six ornaments and um, I aimed for a color scheme. I'm going for bright poppy colors for this tree. And so then you just need to get the sleeve. So I'm gonna cut off this ribbing on the cuff. You could use it, but I just wanna use the cable knit um, instead. And then I take my styrofoam ball and shove it <laughs> right into the sleeve. I've got a whole bunch of pins here. You're gonna need a lot of these. And I'm gonna pin these to the center point of the ball so that I know I've got the length that I need and then cut it off so that it'll fit around the ball lengthwise. And then I've got a whole bunch more that I can use for my upcoming projects since I've just used the sleeves so far. So now we have to get this shape to fit around this round ball. and. That's really all it takes to make this ornament, is just to make that fit. You can see since it's the very beginning of the sleeve, it actually almost fits as it is. But as I get up into the shoulder, it'll get really big. So the first thing I do as I'm arranging the fit is go down and pin the top and the bottom to make sure that I don't end up um, you know, making it too short to cover the, the ornament as I'm cutting pieces off. So I pin that in place and then I'll find the seam. So here's that right here and if I need to take it in along this axis at all that's where I'll do it because um, sewing around that seam can get really bulky and it'll just make a big lump. So I can pinch off about half an inch on each side. So. I'm going to cut that right off and then pin it back in place around the ball. And then I'm going to go around the top of each edge, kind of pinning and um, cutting as I need to, to make it fit. So I'm going to start on this edge and pin that down and what I'm going to do is take one end, like one side here, and pin it over the other side and that will make sure that I have the room that I need to uh, finish that edge without cutting it too small. And see here's, um, you know, this square part that won't fit around the round ball. So I'm just going to snip that right off and then use my pins again to hold it in place. So I've, once I've done the large seam up, then I think of it like um, a Mercedes-Benz symbol or something, or a flux capacitor, <laughs> you know, it'll go down and then branch out. So you're dividing it into thirds, essentially. So see here, if I pinch these little points, you can see I've got the seam that goes down and then those two that come out. And that's really all you'll need to take this from a square to a sphere. 
So I'm gonna cut those points off. Cutting around my pins, you don't wanna cut through those. You'll ruin your scissors that way. And then pin them again. So you do that for the whole ball, both sides, like that. See, so you can, it's messy, but you can get the idea. It doesn't look like a rectangle anymore. And um, once you do that for both sides, then you're ready to start hand sewing. So let me get up close so you can see what I'm doing in that step. Here is my sweater ball ornament with all of my pins in place, and I've already started sewing this shut. Here I just have a standard piece of thread on a needle, and I tied a knot in one end and got it started at the base of one of my little triangle seams. And so what I'm going to do is a technique that in quilting we, we call needle turning. So I'm gonna take the point of my needle and tuck in any of those raw edges that comes from cutting the knit where it tries to unravel. I'm going to uh, tuck those in and then hold it down with my thumb and then just do an easy little whip stitch over, making sure that I'm grabbing both layers. And pulling it closed. Really easy, the hardest thing is getting all of those loose ends under, but that's where the needle comes in handy because you can get a lot closer than um, you can with your fingers. And if worse comes to worse and there's just some little piece that refuses to lay down, you can just sew right over the top of it and it'll stay down there eventually. Here's my ornament with all of my seams nicely sewn closed and then I just used a coordinating yarn and made a loop. You can see I tied the knot there at the top and then sewed that loop on and that's my ornament. And I just think that they are so beautiful. This will add a lot of color and texture to your tree. You can use these as your workhorse ornaments, um, filling up some of that space at the back of the branches and really adding the depth to your tree. But you can also just add these right on the edge because the texture is so beautiful and detailed that it's beautiful to look at close up. So I hope this was inspiring. Go to the, that thrift store and pick up some beautiful sweaters that you can repurpose for your holiday celebrating. And be sure and leave me any comments if you have any questions so I can help you out. Subscribe to the channel for all of the ornament ideas for my bundled up Christmas tree. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.